Hello everyone, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a very simple iron farm that doesn't use any redstone at all. Normally I use this common design I'm showing here for my iron farms. It was designed by Nembom. It's a little difficult to make and needs to be built in the sky, which was the main drawback I was trying to avoid. So I went about designing my own iron farm that's both cheap and can also be built underground or on the surface of the world. I haven't measured the rates for this farm super accurately, but after some observing it seems like a golem spawns about every 50 seconds, which would come out to around 280 iron per hour. To get things started, you're going to want to make a 2x2 hole for the golems to fall into, and put fence gates around the top. Then dig a 2x2 area out to either side of that hole and have water flowing into it. Once you're done with that, you can make a 6x6 area with fences, and then make a U with any building block on the three sides facing away from the hole. Now you can also place some rails in a 2x2 area to line up the zombie. You want to have them in the middle and a little bit towards the front. You might also want to throw some slabs on top at this point in order to protect the zombie from burning up if you decided to build the farm on the surface of the world. Oftentimes I'll break the rail that's closest to me and also on the right side. This means that when the zombie comes off of the rail he should be pretty close to the center of the farm. Finally, for this part of the design, you'll just want to throw some string around the stone bricks to prevent any golems from spawning on top of them. I included this screenshot to show one edit I've made to the farm since I made this video. You want to include fences on the three sides that are facing away from the water. This prevents the golems from getting stuck in their pathfinding, which can happen occasionally. Now we're on the part of the farm that holds the villagers. To start, you'll want to place two stone cutters in the front up against the hull. Then place two fletching tables below with redstone on top of them. Then you want beds along the left, right, and back sides of this unit. Then place string on top of the beds that carpets can go on top of. This keeps the villagers in. Then place two trap doors along the front above the stone cutters. Once you're done with that, place slabs around the sides and the back to keep the villagers in when they sleep. At this point, you're going to want to get three villagers that you're able to get into this chamber. In survival mode, you'll probably want to use a minecart system that's just able to drop them in and then you can break the minecarts. Now, just at the end of the video here, I want to show you guys some things I did to make the farm run a little more smoothly. So like I showed earlier in the video, you need an extra layer of fences along these three sides around the zombie. Because I was just noticing if a golem spawns over here, it is a really small chance of just trying to pathfind directly through here this way. And these extra fences prevent that from happening at all. Uh, one other change is uh, just four string in front here prevent golems from ever spawning uh, directly in the spot and killing the zombie. Uh, it'd actually be smart to place string all around on these platforms. Even though the slabs there should prevent a golem from spawning, it's, it's just more convenient to never have to replace the zombie. Uh, one other change is uh, a line of string just back here. Uh, if a golem spawns right here, it could have a chance of not seeing the zombie and then it takes a little time for it to walk out and then see it and walk around. So the string here speeds up the farm ever so slightly. And then uh, finally, I can just show you the killing mechanism we have. It's just a simple lava blade. It's about six blocks down from the fences to prevent them from burning. Um, and I can show you in here. We just have our chest with our five hoppers and just some signs to keep the lava up, and it works beautifully. Thank you guys so much for watching. I just figured I'd show you the iron farm version I have on the PvP server. As you can see, I'm in a hidden underground base, and the farm still works great. The golems will just spawn around here, and they will find their way into the water, and then down here, I can collect all the iron. So, take a look. Yep, and it's working great. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.